Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to pair your T1 with MK2i. Before pairing them, please make sure your T1 has enough power. It goes with a CR123A battery. When you change to a new battery, after closing the cover correctly, T1 will give you a specific ringtone. Please also make sure your watch has enough power. After you turn on your watch, hold the middle left key to enter the menu, then press the lower left key to select Sensors and Accessories. Select Add New, then select Transmitter and press the upper right key to search. And check the number on your watch to see if it matches with the T1 serial number. If yes, please press the upper right key to confirm. The transmitter status will show connected. Go to the transmitter section. You can also see the connection status. In the identify, when you press the upper right key, your watch will first give you a special ringtone. T1 will ring the same right after the watch rings, so you can know they are pairing correctly. You can choose one of the two pressure units to show on your watch, either in PSI or in bar. For working pressure, you can enter the value between 69 bar to 300 bar. And for reserve pressure, you can enter between 28 bar to 137 bar. For volume, you can set up between 1 liter to 24.9 liter. Set transmit power. After reading the instruction, you can press the down key to confirm. Then you can enter the last two digits of your T1 ID. If numbers are correct, you can change the transmit power to standard, high, or maximum. You can see all your T1 information in the About section. For renaming T1, you can go into the Name section and change it. If you want to remove the T1 from your sensors and accessories list, just go to Remove and press the upper right key. The T1 will disappear from your MK2i. Lastly, don't forget to pair your T1 with MK2i before diving because you are not allowed to pair them in the water. Thanks for watching! Now let's go diving with your T1 and MK2i!